OK, on this video, I'm just going to show you how to access Photo P, how to open a photo, how to save it as a JPEG and how to auto save it as a Photoshop document. So first of all, I've navigated to Google and I'm just going to type Photo P into the search bar. And it will be the first thing that comes up here. Alternatively, you can just type photop.com into your URL. So I'll click onto that. It brings up this page. Now, what you might notice is a box might appear uh, on the screen here talking about cookies. You'll just have to accept that um, to come onto the, the document. What you will also notice on yours is that on the right hand side of the screen, there will be an advert banner um, that keeps sort of flashing up and popping up. And uh, what I've done is I've managed to crop my screen so you can't see that at the moment. Um, so I'm just going to show you opening a photo first of all. So you go to File open and I'll just pick one of these pictures of me okay so I've got my photo open now if you're familiar with using Photoshop this is quite similar it's set out quite similar um, where you've got all of your different uh, things on the right hand side where you can see your layers you can make ch changes um, alternatively you can also use the image adjustments um, box in here I'm just going to do a very quick change to my photo and then show you how I save it. So I'll just change the exposure slightly. Just so we have a bit of a difference. OK, so now I'm going to save it as a JPEG. So I'll go to File, Export as, JPEG, JPG here. Click on there. That brings up a separate box that talks about the quality. So it says Save for Web. Quality of 70% will probably do. Um, you just hit save on there. That automatically um, saved to my downloads folder on my computer. So I'll then need to access it from there and take it out of the downloads and uh, place it where I need it. So either in another files section or if you're keeping your um, photos on a Google Drive document, um, then make sure you put it into upload it to there uh, so your teacher can see it. Now. If I was to be in the middle of an edit, so I'm just going to do something else to my edit now just to make a difference. So if I was in the middle of an edit and I wanted to close it, but come back to it at a later date with uh, my separate layers and all the things that I want to be able to change, I'll need to say it was a Photoshop document. And I can do that by going to File, Save as PSD. That again will then download it to my computer so I can then um, open it later and still be able to work on it. So I'll just show you doing that. So I'm just going to close this one off now. If I go to File, Open, this is set to open from my downloads. So you can see here I've got the JPEG picture that I just did, and I've got my Photoshop document here. So if I open my Photoshop document, you'll see I've still got the layers, so I can still come back to anything and carry on with my edit process.